Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is our second game of our doubleheader tonight. This is the Rose Bowl, number 12, UC Davis, Pac-10 champions, 10-2 on the year, riding a six-game winning streak, taking on the 17th-ranked 8-3 Montana Grizzlies, the Big Ten champs, riding a three-game winning streak, the only team to beat the Dayton Flyers this season. This should be... An interesting matchup, to say the least. I've been looking forward to this game. And, uh, yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's get right into it. All right. Number 41 offense for the Aggies. Number two defense in the nation. Montana has the 17th-ranked offense, 39th-ranked defense. They're pretty good all across the board. Their pass defense is 56th. That is their worst rank out of all of these rankings. And the pass offense for UC Davis, almost dead last, 118th out of 119 schools with just 110 yards passing per game, but they don't need it. They're fourth best rushing the football, 270 yards per game, and their defense, that is what has been getting it done for them all season long, and that is what helped them claim their first Pac-10 championship. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Montana Grizzlies stats, shall we? All right, Ray Neal. We're going to be seeing him in the first year of the Elite Football League. He is in the EFL um, draft lottery, so we'll be seeing him. Uh, he's a really good quarterback, 27 touchdowns, six picks on the year, over 3,000 passing yards, and he was great last season as well, over 4,000 passing yards, 40 touchdowns, 12 picks, and three rushing touchdowns on his career as well. So he is a very, very good quarterback. He's a pocket passer. We're not going to see him run the football. Tom Johnson, sophomore halfback, eight touchdowns for him, 831 yards rushing. And Phillip Butler, their top target, is actually going to be suspended for the first half of this ball game. He's got 77 receptions, 1,031 yards, and eight scores on the season. So they're going to have to rely heavily on Marcus Hollis, Casey Eugene, Brad Ogletree, and Casey Kennedy to fill that void there in the first half. And on defense, they got three players with double-digit tackles for a loss. Vernon Cook, their outside linebacker. Desmond Williams, the other outside linebacker. And Ed Bell, their right end. So watch out for Bell. He's a really good defensive end. Eight sacks for Vernon Cook on the season. Two picks. Rick Bauer leads the Grizzlies uh, in interceptions with a five. He's a redshirt senior. 11 deflections for David Clemens. Three forced fumbles for Vernon Cook, the left outside linebacker. Only three fumbles recovered by this defense all season long. Ed Bell with 61-yard return on one. Vernon Cook with a safety and a defensive touchdown this season. Ed Bell had that fumble recovery for a score. A kicker, Ben Hughes, has missed seven attempts on the season. And a long of 45 for the redshirt senior. Their punter is suspended for this game, so Ben Hughes is going to be punting as well. Two kick returns for touchdowns on the season for Casey Eugene, the freshman receiver, along of 103. And no punt returns for touchdowns for Eugene, but he does have a 46-yard return on the season. Let's go ahead and take a look at the schedule for the Grizzlies. And let me see who we got in the chat. Owen Black, QB1 in the house. Let me get to the Montana schedule here quick. Rocky Clearwater, Tyler Rocky, Marvin Joseph, Bryson Shields, Topsy Kretz, The Demon, and Noah, you absolute stud in the chat. Head coach, Jack Christie for the UC Davis Aggies. Grizzlies lost their first game of the season to Brown, 20-13. Then they beat Dartmouth, lost to Northeastern, 52-15. So they had a really rough start. And then they beat Dayton, 56-46. That's the only time that the Flyers have lost all season long. And that second half was just an explosive performance by Montana to pull away and get a 10-point victory over number one Dayton, who's in the national championship game, which will be coming out this Thursday night. They beat Indiana State, beat UNI, which is Northern Iowa. They beat Southern Illinois, then lost to Eastern Illinois, and they haven't lost since. They beat Villanova, Montana State, Western Illinois, and they got their Big Ten championship. And here we are. Let's get it, folks. Noah, 
what uniforms do you want your team to wear tonight, folks? Let me let me let me know. All right, who we got in chat now? We got Silver Mania. What's going on, man? You know we're not suspending anybody. <laughs> There's <laughs> Zach Pryor in the chat. Also needs to be suspended, but you know what? NCAA interest is low. It doesn't matter. Nick Hall in the chat. And let me see what playbook it is before I go ahead and pick the wrong one on accident. Forgive me. Noah. What? What? I don't remember what playbook, buddy. I got this. Hold on. My Discord is just being really slow. Virginia Tech. There we go. Goodness gracious. You are the away team, Noah. So you either get the all whites or you get the gold pants. All whites if you're away, let's get it. All right. Pac-10 champs, Big Ten champs, the Rose Bowl. Now, let's go. Jason Wood in the chat. What's going on, man? You doing well? <laughs> Trying to bench while you're watching the stream? I like it. Multitasking at its finest. All right. White out <laughs> because you're erasing them. I love it. Oh, we're getting the ball. We're doing it. We're going down the field. And we're going to put up some points. Jay Balmer in the chat. Here's Zach Pryor, the defensive captain. True freshman corner. And returns it up to the 18-yard line. All right. Started off with a run. Test the waters here quick. Wow. Great start. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Let's give it off to Tyreek Taylor. They're going to come out in the 5-2 defense here. And Tyreek Taylor breaks the tackle. Only gets a yard, though. Averages 99 yards rushing per game. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. You got the Aggies winning, Tyler. Any score predictions out there? Come on now. Okay, Owen Black. Okay, Owen. First down for QB1. Nice 15-yard run. You got jitters, Noah. <laughs> Is that why there was the false start? I believe it. How do you turn the commentators off? You just turn their volume all the way down. That's all you got to do, Jay. Oh, boy. Can he escape? Can he escape? No, that's a fast, fast linebacker. That was Cook, his ninth sack of the season. My goodness. I don't want to see that play again. Come on now. 138 to 0. I don't think that's going to happen, Noah. <laughs> you always get the score predictions wrong, Tyler. Well, it's pretty hard to predict the score correct. Wow, nice play. Oh, my goodness. Which volume? I will show you right now, Jay. I got you. Where is it? Audio. The play-by-play -play volume, I have it turned off, so hold on. Play-by-play, -play, right here, you just click it to none. That's all you got to do. All right, rough start. Third down at 16. 
31 to 0 score predictions. You guys give me too much credit. You really do. They have to run it here. Can Black get there? Oh, yeah, he's got the speed, right? Should be a first down. Yeah, let's go. Owen Black moving the chains with his legs. Let's get it. That's what makes him so dangerous. No problem, Jay. I got you, buddy. And that should have been a good block by Gatlin, but he missed it. And Gattis only picks up maybe five yards. Goodness. Play got blown up. They're down an eight now. Clients hitting that 70 burger tonight. I don't think we're going to be hitting 70 points. Wow. Tyreek Taylor doesn't even block. Cole Hewitt, the left tackle, got destroyed. And Ed Bell gets the sack. Feels bad. And we're going to have to pump the football away. Tyrell Gold, not for the punt. And he gets a pretty good one off. RJ Simons running down there. Can't make the tackle. Tyreek Taylor makes the tackle, though. And we're just going to go with some cover two man here. It is very dark in this end zone. My goodness. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar. Tomorrow. Don't judge me. Let's go defense. Looking for a big game from the defensive line. And there it is right there. Andrew Jackson on the stop. Mason Stonewall met the man in the backfield. Jackson finished off the play. Third down and 10 now for the Grizzlies. Montana 10th in the nation on third downs, 52%, not too bad. Oh, he's gone. Maybe not. Yep, referee got in the way. Unbelievable. Oh, 80-yard touchdown pass. It was 12 versus 11 on that play. Referee gets right in Pryor's way. Unbelievable. <laughs> I said I couldn't sing. That's because I can't sing, Noah. I can't do it, man. Oh, boy. That was unexpected. It is a young secondary. Three of the four are true freshmen. But still, when the referee just gets in your way like that, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It's like you run into a brick wall. Fryer on for the return for his own goal line. And gets absolutely rick rolled. <laughs> yeah, when that happens. Yeah, I can't stand it when the ref just gets right in the way. It's so irritating. It's so out of your control. Tyreek Taylor picks up a couple up the middle. Just not liking what's going on with the offense here tonight. It's looking pretty similar to North Dakota State's offense. 
Owen Black in the open field, pitches it out. Lozano running a man smooth over, gets up to the 40-yard line. Great run after receiving the pitch from Owen Black. And Sam Gatlin blocked exactly zero people downfield. First and 10 from the 40. Lozano gets another carry and picks up eight or nine yards off the right side. He's got 8.53 on the season with eight scores. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. I love you. Tyreek Taylor gets the first down. A very hard-fought four-yard carry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Ash Driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Oh, what a juke. Tyreek Taylor, oh my goodness, inside the 35-yard line. The big man showing some shiftiness. I like it. Lito has the hot hand. He sure does. But we got to get the big fella involved as well. Got to do it. Black on the option. Pitches it out late. Oh, almost a great spin. Dropped at the 20-yard line. on the option. Owen Black inside the 10 yard line. First and goal. Aggies knocking on the door. Seven play, 76 yard drive over two minutes off the clock and we do not get the play off. That'll be the end of the first quarter. 17th ranked Montana on top of the 12th ranked UC Davis Aggies. Seven to nothing. Here in the Rose Bowl. At least we can see now. We're not in the dark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Owen Black, easy touchdown run for the quarterback. And we're in this thing. Let's go. Ed Bell trying to give chase. The defensive end did not have the speed for it, though. Nice seven-yard touchdown run for Owen Black. Tyro Golden. On for the extra point, Ashley Jackson set to hold. And we are tied up here in the Rose Bowl, seven apiece after an eight-play 83-yard drive. It took 214 off the clock. You can score without the ref's help, absolutely. Oh, Everett Garrison got laid out. Oh, my goodness. All right, back to defense. Zero passing yards for the Aggies, zero rushing yards for the Grizzlies. You got to love it. Neal hands it off to Caldwell, and he is dropped for a loss. That is Andrew Jackson, the stud left end making a nice play loss of two for Montana we pass right side is Peoples and he's going to pick up nine yards on the reception bringing up third down and three I'm going to send some linebackers on a blitz here Hopefully Christian or Hyde can get in there and make a play. It's man-to-man -man coverage, so you got to trust the freshman corners. And oh my goodness. 
Mason Stonewall offsides gives Montana a first down. Wow. Another freshman with a mental mistake. Pass right side, Ogletree, tight end. Picks up six or seven yards on the right sideline. Caleb Chubb is in the zone at defensive tackle. He's a mountain of a man. Deep shot, right side, RJ Simons in coverage. He gets beat. And Eugene down to the 10 yard line. Montana pushing the ball deep downfield. And that is tough. Tough play to defend right there. Receiver has a step on you. It's a deep shot. Not many ways you can get back and make a play on that. All right, Andrew Jackson's in the zone now. And Ray Neal's going to try to run the football. He is going to be sacked. And that is Zeus Williams, the middle linebacker, coming through making a play. Nice play by the freshman. This is the only team that fields 11 subscriber players on one side of the football. Over the middle. Oh, baby. Almost had a pick. Brings up third down and 12. Now, that was a very quick pass. All right. Huge play. Third and 12. They got to get right near the goal line for a first down. Deep shot, double coverage, great play by Simons. Makes up for that deep bomb. Deflects it down, and we hold him to a field goal. Let's go, Aggies. That's how you rebound, man. That's how you do it. Twenty-nine yard field goal attempt. Pick is up, and it is good. It's 10 7 here in the Rose Bowl. Eight play, 59 yard drive, 202 off the clock. Really good drive, but a great finish by the Aggies defense to hold the three. Zach Pryor on for the return. And dropped at the 19. Try to get the ground game working again for the Aggies. And Lozano gets a couple yards off the right side. Nice tackle by the fresh or by the uh, nickel cornerback over there. Brings up second down and eight. Great open field tackle. Ed Bell in the zone at defensive end on the right. Have to take off away from Ed Bell. Get out of here. First down, Owen Black. My goodness. They had immediate pressure off that left side. And we go with the option. Black holds on to it. Carrying Ed Bell picks up a few yards. Brings up second down and six now. Ed Bell in the zone again. And there's Sam Gatlin, the offensive captain, with a nice catch for the first down. Got to be able to throw the football a little bit here tonight. So they're going to be keying on the run quite a bit. Uh-oh, pressured again. Black taking off, 
and dropped after four yards. Oh, my goodness. Cole Hewitt, the left tackle, true freshman, is getting just beat up over there. He got absolutely pancaked. I just watched the replay back. My goodness. Uh-oh. Get the ball, Lito. Woo! Saved it. Lost a couple yards. Boy, oh boy, that was tough. All right, third down and nine now after that fumble. Ed Bell on fire. <laughs> He's going up against Cole Hewitt. Hewitt actually blocked him pretty good. Uh-oh. Deep shot. And Gallon. No, he drops it. Oh, man. That was a perfect throw. Black running for his life. Heaves it up. And his captain can't hang on to it. Way downfield in Grizzly territory. Got to make that play. Got to make it. Huge hit. The 16-yard line. Tyreek Taylor injured his elbow on the tackle. That could be a huge loss. Aggies will have to rely heavily on Lito Lozano in the backfield. They do have uh, Wyatt Geddes as the number three halfback. He will be a able capable fill-in, rather. If I can find the correct word that I'm trying to look for. Direct snap. And he is dropped after a six-yard carry. Bell putting on a lot of pressure. Yes, he is. Ed Bell is a menace for Montana. Second down and four now. And Ray Neal's going to run it. Oh, he got wrecked. Oh, my goodness. Man, that was Hyde on the tackle. Oof. Tyreek Taylor out for one quarter, so we should see him back in the second half. Play action. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, wow. Hunzi 34 in the chat. You see Davis verbal commitment? Okay, I see you. What position you playing? Oh, almost caught over the middle. Nice attempt. That'll bring up third down and ten, though. Wide receiver. I like it. I'm pretty sure I did get a wide receiver recruit for the Aggies. Deep shot. Oh, my goodness. What was that, Trey? Hit L1. That's the uh, deflection button, and he just puts up, puts up both hands. Doesn't even come close to it. That's unfortunate. Huge third down conversion, and they're just about in field goal range now. No, they handed it off. And Caldwell still up. Demarcus Webb finally drags him to the ground. Three-yard carry. And they are pretty much in field goal range now. Are you in the Discord, Hunzi? If not, the uh, description has the link below. That is incomplete. Third down and seven. Anyways, the link is in the description below. We'd love to see you in there if you're not already in there. That's the only way you're going to be able to customize a recruit in this series going forward. Third down again. Deep shot right side. Incomplete. Let's go. Huge stop. And they're going to go for it. They don't have the leg for it. Biggest play of the game right here. 
Neal in the shotgun. Deep shot to the end zone. Simons. Oh, he gets beat again by Eugene. Oh, man. Fourth down. And they get a 30-yard touchdown pass. Simons getting picked on a little bit here in the first half. That's the second touchdown he has allowed. The second big play, rather, that he's allowed. Okay, you are on the Discord. All right. All right. I see you. Montana gets the ball to start the third quarter as well. They came to play today, folks. Nine plays, 84 yards in less than a minute. Wow. Zach Pryor on for the return. Pryor up the right sideline. Pryor. Down the right sideline, inside the 45-yard line of Montana. That is huge with 27 seconds left in the half. Let's go. And that's going to be incomplete. I'm going to try to get the ball to Jaquan Brown. He is a playmaker at receiver. And he's wide open. Jaquan Brown has it. And that's a touchdown for UC Davis. Quick strike. Let's go. Great corner route. Safety nowhere close to him. That was huge, making it a one-score ball game again. As I mentioned before, Montana does get the ball to start the third. Uh-oh, look out. Tyrell Golden. No. Get him, Simons. Oh, he saves the touchdown. And it's clipping anyway. Oh, my goodness. Great effort by RJ Simons, though. He's had a rough game so far, but he showed no quit on that play. Wow. We got lucky with that clipping call. Unreal. Let's just get this half over with, shall we? Nice tackle, Caleb Chubb. That is the half. Montana is on top 17 to 14 here in the Rose Bowl. Big 10 versus the Pac-10. 17th ranked Grizzlies versus the 12th ranked Aggies. Now we need the defense to step it up. Up to 17 viewers now on the stream. Slap that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe if you are new. Join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. Would love to see you in there, folks. The link is in the description below. Got over 120 members in there right now. All right, Caleb Chubb in the zone at defensive tackle. They're going to hand it off, and that play is stopped very quickly by Zeus Williams, the middle linebacker. Brings up second down and 10. Three receivers set to the right side. Ogletree at tight end on the left. And we get the sack. Let's go. Andrew Jackson brings the quarterback down, making it third and 13 from their own 18-yard line. Let's get it. Switch it up to the nickel set here. Yeah. 
Deep shot. I'm there. And I get the pick. What's up? Get out my way. Get out my way. Trey Henry the third, baby. Up to the 49-yard line. Let's go. Drink it. Drink it in, young man. Let's go. Don't you test me again, Ray Neal. Don't you test me again. My goodness, what a play. We desperately needed that one. Let's try to get White Geddes involved a little bit in the game plan. Breaking a tackle. Gets maybe a yard on the play. Not even a yard. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what we got here. Second and ten from the 49. Black on the option. Great block downfield by Gatlin. And we get the pitch off to Lozano. And Gatlin makes another nice block. And Lozano up to the 15. He's got 76 on six carries. Let's go. Hit him with that back juke. Got an extra four yards. You'd love to see it. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? We see Davis 89% in the red zone this season. Uh-oh. It's looking a little rough. Who wants it? Oh, boy. I don't know why, but that tight end started running towards the sideline at the end of his route instead of just sitting there. He was wide open. That should have been a touchdown. All right, let's get this ball to Tyreek the Freak. Tyreek. Oh, no, Tyreek. No, boo-boo. What you doing? He's having a rough game, folks. Oh, man. Ed Bell. I don't think he'll get credit for that forced fumble, but he's the one that stood Tyreek Taylor up. And the slot, or the nickel cornerback, comes up and lays him out. What? What? What in tarnation is that? All right, let's get some pressure on this guy now. Let's go. That's a tough play to defend right there. That is tough. First down, Montana. That is just so unfortunate about that fumble. Man. It's a slugfest, though. I love it. Left side. Nobody's home. Incomplete pass. That was intended for Old Tree, the tight end, I believe. Play action. Left side wide open is Caldwell. Goes out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. Brings up third down and nine from their own 22 yard line. Two of five tonight on third down, the Grizzlies are. And they're going to set up the screen pass right side. Hollis, back from suspension, gets his first reception. And he gets a loss of one yard, and we get the stop. Fourth and ten. Wyatt Geddes back deep to return the punt. And that was a good one to the 31-yard line. Oh, and there's a clipping call as well. It's right in front of the return. And I think that was Jaquan Brown, actually. It's going to back us up to our own 21-yard line. Single coverage, right side to Jaquan Brown. He's got it. The defender leaps in the air, and he is gone. Touchdown, Aggies. 
Brown with his second tonight. And just like that, UC Davis takes the lead in the Rose Bowl. 20 to 17 in the third quarter. Let's go. You can't go one-on-one -on -one with him. You should know better than that. Guy's a touchdown machine. What a throw from Owen Black as well. My goodness. What a bomb. 21-17. Aggies on top. Let's go. That 117th ranked, um, 118th ranked pass offense looking pretty crispy right now. I tell you what. I tell you what. Uh-oh. That's not good. All right. 34-yard line. Defense is a little tired. That could be could be bad. Could be really bad. Caleb Chubb in the zone at defensive tackle. Quick pass deflected away. Nice play by Elijah Christian, the right outside linebacker. It's been really hard to get pressure on him tonight. Uh-oh. Boy, oh boy. Pryor gets beat. And I have to save a touchdown. Not sure. Oh, they had that weird wiggle animation for Pryor. That's unfortunate. That explains why he got beat by 12 yards. Regear Productions in the chat. What's going on, man? Heck of a game here tonight. The first one was really good, too. Deep shot right side. Simons makes a great play. What an adjustment for the corner. My goodness. Great deflection. That might have been Garrison. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Deep shot right side. Overthrows his running back who was wide open. And that brings up third down and ten. I'm going to switch to the nickel here, get some more speed out on the field. So Payne is in there at the nickel cornerback spot, not subscriber player. Oh, he threw that into five UC Davis Aggie defenders. My goodness. And they are going to go for it here. No surprise. They're not in field goal range. You don't really want to punt it here from the 38-yard line. Big-time play, though. Deep shot. Oh, my goodness. What a catch from Hollis on fourth and ten. The star receiver lays out for it. Oh, my goodness. That was insane. What a catch. And they move the chains. Down to 25. You've got to get some pressure on this quarterback. Uh-oh. Oh, Simon saves the touchdown. Hollis inside the five-yard line. That was a really hard adjustment to make right there. Oh, boy. The defense has been exhausted for this entire drive. Fullback in motion to the left side. Oh, touchdown for Mills, the number two tight end. And Montana's going to take a field goal lead here with the extra point. What a drive from Montana. Great answer. Wyatt Geddes in the chat now. What's up, Wyatt? How you doing, buddy? 24-21 here in the third in the Rose Bowl. I am not returning that. Oh, boy. Nine yards deep. Not a chance. Oh, 
Oh boy, Ed Bell coming for my neck right now. And Black gets the first down somehow, running for his life. Over 200 total yards of offense for him, three touchdowns. He's having one heck of a performance. Pitch it out. Lozano just hold on to the football. My goodness. That's one way to move the chains. 15-yard face mask. I'll take that. And now Davidson, one of the linemen for the Aggies, injured. I feel like he's been injured probably like 10 times this season. I thought the game just froze for a second. I was about to cry. Can't even lie to you. Can't even lie. Oh boy. One on one coverage, Sam Gatlin can't get there. Ray Senga in the chat. What's going on, brother? Davidson out for one quarter with a bruised forearm. Rub some dirt on and get back in the game, Sally. You know, Lozano to the outside, breaks the tackle, gets maybe seven yards. Makes it third and manageable, third and four. Take that first down to the 40. Let's go, Owen. 80 yards rushing tonight for the quarterback. You love to see it. Less than a minute left here in the third quarter now. And Lozano picks up three yards up the middle. I think I'm going to run one more play and get our offense off the field. They are tired. Tyreek Taylor to the outside. Look out. Tyreek, the freak. Breaking tackle still going. Inside the 10, down to the 6. What a run for the freak of nature, Tyreek Taylor. Oh my goodness. What a run. All those Grizzlies just falling down. And we're going to let that one, we're going to let that play end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. This is one heck of a game here in the Rose Bowl. Number 12, UC Davis versus number 17, Montana. Pac-10 champs versus the Big Ten champs. What a battle it's been so far. Aggies looking to finish with 11 victories on the season. And that would be monumental for first-year head coach Jeff Christie. Harry Taylor destroyed up the middle. Still got maybe a yard. Eight plays, 74 yard drive, 215 off the clock. Okay. Jaquan Brown, oh boy. I thought that cornerback was going to come through and blitz. Luckily, he doesn't know how to catch, so. GG's. <laughs> Third and goal now after that play. All right, huge play. We can take the lead or fail and then tie it up. 
Jaquan Brown for the lead again, his third touchdown reception tonight. Unreal throw from Owen Black, oh baby. He was falling to his right and just shot put that to Jaquan Brown. Oh my goodness, let's go. What a battle this is. Love these types of games. Back to a four-point ball game, 28-24. UC Davis on top after a 10-play, 80-yard drive. Took 228 off the clock. Goodness, nice return up to the 40 yard line. My goodness gracious. Number two defense in the country having a tough time tonight stopping this passing attack. And nice deflection for Elijah Christian, the right outside linebacker. Brings up second down and 10. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's going on, Bill? Glad to see you, buddy. Deep shot left side. Uh-oh. Nice reception for Eugene. Pryor brings him down at the 30-yard line. Eugene up to 180 yards tonight. He is all over the field. It looked like an illegal screen right there, but that's okay. They don't call them in this game. Guy's got a third of his yards this season in tonight's game. Definitely a breakout performance for him. Deep shot right side, and it's caught, and Johnson is in for the touchdown. Another quick strike from Montana. We cannot slow down this passing attack. Ray Neal is an absolute stud for the Grizzlies. He was hit as he threw that as well. We got pretty much no pass rush tonight. I think we have one sack on Neal. I think it was Andrew Jackson. Yeah, an offensive pick. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Noah. <laughs> Fourteen seconds it took them to score. My goodness gracious. Slap that like button, folks. I love you. It's Bruce's time to shine. Oh, no. No. Run, pain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Rough return there for Wyatt Geddes. And, you know, we're going to let him make up for it right here with a halfback slam. Let's go. The only reason I returned that with him is because he said he would have returned the last one to the house. So, there was your chance, bud. <laughs> oh, nice play by Ed Bell. My goodness. Waste time and kick a field goal and hold him to overtime? Absolutely not, man. You don't go for field goals. What's the matter with you, bruh? Throw it up, Jaquan Brown is there, and he's got another one up past midfield to the 46. A sophomore receiver having one heck of a ball game in the Rose Bowl. He is balling out of his mind. Tight end drops the pass. All right, let's see. Power option. And we're going to 
to switch this to the left side because they just switched their entire defense to the other side. Let's go, Owen. Let's go. Nice blocking. Owen Black in the open field. Look out. Breaking a tackle out of bounds around the 12-yard line. Let's go, QB1. <laughs> Let's go. Great blocking downfield. Look at the blocks from Gatlin and Tyreek Taylor. Unreal. First and 10 from the 12-yard line now. Throw it up, Jaquan Brown again. Oh, no, there's a flag. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. That would have been his fourth, man. Insane. He's just beating every defensive back. Every single one of them. Uh-oh. Get out of the way, Lito. Just get some positive yards here. And Black is exhausted right now. It's been running all over the field tonight. Who's my favorite sub player? I think it would have to be Cy Summers. Outside linebacker for the Bryant Bulldogs. And Jaquan Brown drops it. Oh, boy. Unfortunate. Up to 19 viewers now on the stream. You guys have tuned into one heck of a ball game. That is for sure. Three of five tonight on third downs. This is a long one. Third down and 16 for the Aggies. Oh, nice deflection. We were going for Brown again over the middle. He beat his corner. Just couldn't get the pass out there. we got to go for the field goal here with Tyrell Golden. 35-yard attempt to tie it up at 31 apiece. Uh-oh. Please make it. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> Oh, boy. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, man. That makes me sick to my stomach. Deep shot. Right side. Caught by Ogletree. Oh, man. Come on, defense. We need something here. Eugene on the option. How? How? Unbelievable. Shot. Simons beat again by Hollis. I would love to know what happened to the number two defense in the country. They sure are not playing like it tonight. We've gotten little to no pressure on Ray Neal. And he just has all day to throw the football. And now it's a two-score ball game. 38-28. Montana on top. He's still got plenty of time. Can't believe you guys are calling game in the chat right now. Do 
you not see how quickly I scored and got an onside kick in the last game? And a false start. Great. Take off. Easy, easy yards. 135 yards rushing for Owen Black. Putting the team on his back tonight. And he got out of bounds there. Stop the clock. Nice reception for Lozano. Let's get out of bounds again. First down. Move the chains. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Sam Gatlin. I don't think he has the speed for that. Oh, he does. Inside the five-yard line. Sam Gatlin. I can't believe he caught that. Oh, my goodness. That is unreal that he just caught that. Owen Black. Touchdown, Aggies. We're back in it, baby. Let's go. Don't you ever count us out. Calling game with over three minutes left. You guys are crazy. Yeah. Owen Black just outrageous right now. <laughs> Four play, 80 yard drive, 27 seconds off the clock. Tim Gatlin makes a nice tackle on a kickoff, and it's clipping. Let's go. Backs him up to the 11-yard line. I'd like to get some pressure on this quarterback, please. That would be phenomenal. If we get a stop here, we're winning this game. We're winning. Green pass, left side. Uh-oh. Okay, he went out of bounds. Okay. My goodness. Where is the pressure up front? We should at least be getting some on the right side. Caleb Chubb and Andrew Jackson. I mean, come on. Oh, they got me one-on-one -on -one with Eugene. Oh, nice run for Ray Neal. What? How is he still up? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me? Ray Neal, who has like negative 250 rushing yards in his career, just ran for like 60 yards downfield. Defense is exhausted. Unbelievable. Right side, open is called well. And I don't know if he stayed in bounds or not. And he did stay in bounds, second in inches. I'm not going to call a timeout yet. Because they could very easily just get this first down and then run the clock out if I keep calling timeouts. Let's 
Let's go defense. Do something. I'm begging you. Ain't too proud to beg and plead for your sympathy. Sorry. Get him. Oh, they got the first down. All right. And now we have to start calling timeouts after this. Ray Neal, 413 yards passing, 48 rushing, five touchdowns. Only black play of the game for UC Davis. Andrew Jackson in the zone, so is Ray Neal. And they're going to go with the fullback. Bring him down. Come on, D-line. Do something. It's unbelievable how little pressure they have brought to the quarterback tonight. Oh, it's game. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Did you guys see the push up front? The entire defensive line, we had five linemen out there. They all got one-on-one -on -one blocked and beat by their man. Wow. Unbelievable right now. Oh my goodness, Ed Bell. Chuck it up. Why not? Oh, Sam Gatlin somehow catches it. Oh, that was a prayer and it was answered. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who wants it? Anybody? Owen Black, take off. Let's go. Oh boy. Uh oh, that's a sack. Nope, no, it's not. Throw it up. Okay, he threw it. Wow. Unbelievable. Throw it up. Jaquan Brown drops it. I don't know if I'm going to make this field goal or not, but let's try it. Last one we tried, hook to the left. And Tyrell Golden boots this one up and through. 45, 38, 17 seconds left. We get an onside kick. Let's go. It ain't over, baby. Woo. And we got two timeouts. Who wants smoke with Debo? What's up?
Jaquan Brown down the field. Oh, can't catch it off the deflection. Call a timeout here. Get our guys some rest. Oh, boy. Throw it up. Sam Gatlin's there. Sam Gatlin has it, and he's down. Two seconds left. We call a timeout. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Unbelievable game right now. Oh my goodness, Ed Bell saves the game for Montana with immediate pressure. I don't know what Cole Hewitt was doing. Come on. Oh. Unbelievable finish for both games tonight. I'm going to watch the replay really quick. If I had time to throw that football, Cole Hewitt blocked zero people on that play. Zero. Unreal. Heck of a game for the Aggies. Heck of a game by the Grizzlies. Ray Neal, an absolute stud at quarterback for them. Two straight games we had onside kick recoveries. Look at the offense. How do you... Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Come on. That is crazy. I'm just, I'm heartbroken right now. Both games tonight, we came so close. Sorry I couldn't get you guys the dub. Man. Ray Neal, 413 yards, five touchdowns, just one pick tonight for Montana. And he also had 48 rushing yards. Insane. Owen Black, 9 of 21, 328 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. One hell of a performance from him. Put the team on his back. 149 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Lito Lozano had a really good game. Tyreek Taylor got rocked a couple times. Three fumbles for the offense. Jaquan Brown, four catches, 163 yards, three touchdowns. Offensive captain Sam Gatlin, four for a buck 51. Lito Lozano, one for 14. Nobody else had a reception. And Cole Hewitt, I don't know how that's only one sack allowed. He got destroyed tonight. Ed Bell was just treating him like the redhead stepchild that he probably is. Oh, man. Of course I'm upset, man. I, I really <laughs> I wanted so badly to win that game for UC Davis. And we just couldn't get enough plays to go our way. Oh, it's sickening. Defense just got torched tonight. We couldn't get any pressure on Neal. He had a week and a half to throw the football every single play. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Didn't matter what formation you guys saw. I was picking different formations. Didn't matter. Pryor with a 62-yard kick return tonight, and Wyatt Geddes with a 47-yard punt return. And sadly, that is it for this game, folks. Unbelievable. Not a terrible season though for UC Davis. 10 and 3 finish for them. 
Pac-10 champions. Montana finishes their year 9-3. and Big Ten champs, the only team to beat Dayton so far this year. Oh, my goodness. Again, apologies to UC Davis and uh, North Dakota State for, for not being able to pull off those crazy comebacks at the end after the onside kick recoveries. But only two games left in the season, folks. I'm done playing them for now for this year. Our final two games are subscriber versus subscriber matchups. Tomorrow night, we've got number 5 VMI, who's 12-1 and one on the season, taking on the 11-2 and two Jacksonville Dolphins. And then Thursday night, we have the number 3 Savannah State Tigers, 11-2 and two on the season, taking on the number 1, 11-1 Big Ten runner-ups, the Dayton Flyers. So just two games left. It's crazy. It just it feels like the season took forever, but at the same time, it feels like it just flew right by. But, yeah. Crazy games tonight, guys. Absolutely insane. But anyways, that's it for me tonight, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night with VMI taking on Jacksonville in the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Until then, I love you guys. Take it easy.